What's up guys? It's Mizuna and we're playing something different. We're playing Paradox Entertainment's Stellaris. Now, I haven't played it yet, but I wanted to bring you guys in like I was going to start a new game, I was going to just play, and then I was like, wait, no. Come on. You have to upload this because this game looks absolutely incredible as everything from Paradox is. Um, it's a 4K, what's called a 4X strategy game, a uh, grand strategy. It's just basically the complexity of this game is mind boggling. Um, so I don't know how well that'll come across like in a recording, but I'm gonna try it and we'll see how much you guys like it. I think I'll just record anyway because I enjoy it. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. Let's start a new game. Now, I want to create a new empire for sure, because we get to choose our race and stuff. Let's start there. So, what do we want to be? Do we want to be a mammal? I don't know. Mammal. Oh, we could be space sloths. We could be space sloths. Should we? I don't know. That guy looks kind of crazy. Hmm. Oh, boy. This is... You can be a human, obviously. You can be this person. Don't really know. A bat? A bat with six eyes? Alright. Alright, reptilian. Could be a reptilian. Oh man, this is gonna be this is gonna be hard. I can tell that this is gonna be a hard choice. Hmm. Avian, huh? A parrot. We could be parrot people. Parrot people from some place somewhere. In a galaxy far, far away. Copyright infringement. <laughs> Uh, let's see. He, this guy only has one eye. It's interesting. All right, all right. You know what? This is gonna be. This is gonna. This is gonna be impossible. Uh, to do all in one. Like, look at all this stuff that we have to go through. We have to name stuff. We have to like choose our government and our appearance of our cities and like all sorts of stuff. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a cut. I'm gonna design everything for us, and then we're gonna like bring you guys back when it's all designed and we can get to the actual gameplay. So, give me a minute, I'll be right back. All right, so along the way we came to a point where like, basically we're gonna pick our traits. Um, I did pick an avian race, I'll explain that after we're all done. But, uh, so this is gonna really affect our gameplay, so I wanted to go through, wow, there are a lot to choose from. <laughs> <laughs> I love I love complex games, so this is cool. All right, agri ag 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 agrarian. We could be agrarian. I know it. Like deep connection to the land and make expert farmers and gardeners. Thrifty. Oh, okay. Food plus fifteen percent. Energy credits plus fifteen percent. Minerals plus fifteen percent. Engineering output, physics output, and society output plus ten percent. Interesting. Natural engineers. Natural physicists. I feel like birds are probably natural physicists. Got that whole I can fly thing going on. Natural sociologists. They're, they're good at that too. Society. They're excellent at that. Extremely adaptive. Alright. Species is remarkably adept at adapting <laughs> to any foreign environments. Or adaptive. And we've got negative points too, so you can get points back, and you can pick four traits in all. So, rapid breeders, that's interesting. Slow breeders, talented. Leader skill levels plus one, interesting. Quick learners, leader experience gain plus 25%, slow learners. Very strong. Members of this species possess a strength that almost defies the laws of physics. That's interesting. Strong, all right. Weak, nomadic, migration time down, resettlement cost down, sedentary, migration time up, okay, so just the opposite, communal and solitary, highly communal and quite used to living in close proximity to others, happiness plus 5%, okay, charismatic, interesting, hmm, venerable, that's cool that they can, you can, make the lifespan super long. Huh. Alright. Alright, so I think intelligent is a must. 
Birds are very intelligent, in case you didn't know. And then that took up both of our points, so we need to do one of these guys. Gonna go... This is hard. Slow breeders, so that we can pick up... I don't know. Hmm. Hard choice, hard choice. Are there any, like, negative twos? No, all are negative ones. Okay. So... Sedentary, huh? Hmm. All right, we'll we'll be we'll be weak. That that seems okay, and we'll be yeah. I think we'll be slow breeders, and then we will be what? How would you even get something like this? That's crazy. That's like. An extreme, so you'd have to pick like all, all three of your picks would have to be negatives, and then your last one could be a five pointer, and you'd have to base your entire civilization around one extreme trait. That's kind of interesting. That's an interesting idea. I'm gonna go with natural physicists. Oh, except all right, that doesn't work. Um, hmm. Maybe like this, except then we're m missing out on a trait. What else? Industrious, thrifty. All right, all right, all right. I know, I know, it's taking me a minute, I'm sorry. It's just... Hmm. Enduring. Would be a good trait to have. This species requires slaves or servants to feel content. Interesting. Slow learners, slow breeders. We are going to go slow breeders, and then we're going to go... Ah, <sighs> having such a hard time choosing. Like, I don't even know. I haven't played the game yet. I don't know what's good. What's good? Ethics diversion minus 20%. All right. That seems good. Hmm. Does strong and weak just exactly cancel out? We also get additional minerals from strong, so that's interesting. Rapid breeders and slow breeders cancel out, I'm guessing. No, actually, you lose points. Okay, that's good to know. Good to know. Adaptive? Sure, sure, adaptive. That seems right. Alright, what's next? So, starting ruler. Male or female? Male. Phenotype hairstyle. Ooh, color variance, alright. Red. Let's make him red. We're gonna name him Bluto. Bluto the first, and here, here's why. So I had, when I was a kid growing up, I had a bird named Bluto, um, and he was a green wing macaw. If you've never seen a green wing macaw, they're massive, and they live for a really long time. They're incredibly intelligent, and they look a lot like this, actually, um, and they're, re they're really, really cool. So that's why his name is Bluto the first. Uh, we're also go going to call the homeworld Blutonia. The star is going to be called Bluton. Perfect. Starting solar system? I don't know what that even means. Let's just make it a random starting solar system. What are all these? Okay, different world types. Tropical makes sense, because we're birds, so I'm going to make it a, a tropical thing. We're going to have... Avian cities. Ooh, those look sweet. What do the other ones look like? Molluscoid, fungoid, and arthropoid. Okay, avian cities, yeah. Uh, next. Government and ethics. Okay. What's all this? Pointy? Oh. Interesting. Oh. Oh, okay. All right. 
Oh, this is cool. All right. All right, I'm going to take another cut. I'm going to design some stuff, and then we'll come back actually in the gameplay this time. I'll skip the government ethics and just fill you guys in afterwards. BRB. All right, guys, so we're all done here. Let's just go through it. From the beginning, we are avians of the parrot variety. We are Blutonians, pl plural Blutonians, name Blutonian, adjective Blutonian. Uh, we chose these names. You can pause if you want to read through them. We are intelligent. We are weak and slow breeders, but we are adaptive. Uh, we are red. The name of our first ruler is Bluto the First. He is male. Our homeworld is named Plutonia, and the star is named Pluton. It is a tropical world. We are we have avian cities, you can see that in the background, they're really cool looking. We are pacifists and we are fanatic spiritualists. Our government is an enlightened monarchy. So each ruler can build a special park building. Edict cost is down 25%, edict duration is up 25%, and our core sector planets, plus one. Frankly, guys, I have no idea what any of that means, but it sounds good, so we'll see what happens. Uh, this government is a pacifist, pacifist, pa oh my gosh, pacifistic, pacifistic, okay, form of autocracy, where the ruler is viewed as an enlightened protector that always acts in the best interests of the citizenry. Uh, so I chose spiritualist as one of my traits because spiritualists empires have a much greater chance of getting psionic technology, which I really want to play around with. So I chose that and I kind of base the rest around that. I chose pacifist because, well, that's kind of how I want to play it. I want to play it low and slow and only if we have to kill someone will we kill someone. That's how you, that's how you do, you know? Uh, next, we are the Mizuna Space Alliance which I just now realized I spelled entirely wrong. Excellent. Good. The adjective is allied. And here's our flag, as you can see there. I think it looks really neat. We are starting with energy weapons, as opposed to projectile weapons or missile weapons. And we are going to be using wormhole travel, which says it's for advanced players, but it also sounds by far the coolest, and, in my opinion, is probably the most likely to exist in the real world. Um, at some point in our future. So, and we have avian ships, uh, and here's the summary. So yeah, that's that's it. We're saving, and we're gonna hit done. Galaxy size medium. Ooh, huge galaxy? Huge galaxy, I hear you. We're doing it. Galaxy shape, elliptical, spiral, spiral, two arms or four arms, or ring. I don't know. I think I'm gonna go with I don't know. What should we what should we do? I don't have any idea. Spiral two arms? Sure. AI Empires 29. Okay. Mm advanced AI starts. This controls how many of the regular AI Empires will start with an initial advantage. Huh. Alright. Normal difficulty. What's next? Hard insane. Okay, normal, hard, or insane. Thanks, Paradox. No easy mode. That's fine. That's fine. It makes sense. Allowed FTL method. This controls which method of faster than light travel can be chosen by regular empires. By default, all three methods are enabled. Uh, any? Sure. Why not? Iron Man mode. Iron Man requires Steam Cloud to be enabled. Okay, so off. Don't want to deal with any of that. I think I'm going to go spiral two arms. I have no idea what that means. It is a huge... Uh, four arms? Two arms? Do we want a ring galaxy? I don't know. Four arms. Spiral four arms. Let's do it. No. Yes. Yes, no. Yes. We're starting. Ah! The game's starting. All right. Here we go. Loading map graphics. Continuing to load map graphics. Oh! Just put us right in. All right. The Mizuna Space Alliance. Here we go. In the eons since the first primitive Blutonian communities took shape in the dense jungles of Blutonia, our civilization has spread and prospered. There were many dangers as we advanced through the ages, and some of us were still prone to violence during a few of the darker periods of history. Finally, we were brought into the protective embrace of a single enlightened ruler and united under one banner. Now, after all... 
the successful creation of artificial subspace wormholes. The finest minds of the Mizuna Space Alliance have finished construction of the first wormhole station at the edge of our system. The stars themselves are finally within our grasp. Ooh, I got goosebumps. Did you get goosebumps? No? Well, fine. Let's Please go. Be We're you, beginning. Your Majesty. Oh. I am Veer, a prototype synthetic intelligence. Okay, hi Veer. My task will be to assist and advise you as we venture beyond the safety of our home world for the first time in history. Oh, thanks. Not gonna read that part, Veer? Okay, that's fine. Um, you know, never played this game. I don't think I want a full tutorial because that would take up a lot of our time. So I'm just gonna do, I could use some advice. Very well. I will provide tips explaining only basic functions and tools as you explore them. Okay, good to know. Thanks, Veer. All right, here's Bluton. Here we are, Plutonia. How to, ooh! Oh, it's exciting. Let's, we can't scroll out. It's paused, okay, that's fine. So, what, what's all this? This is our science ship, which is used to survey astronomical objects such as planets in a star yeah, system. Close. A planet needs to be surveyed in order to make its resources visible. All right, not yet surveyed planetary body, blah, 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 blah. Okay, don't show again. Thanks, Veer. I appreciate it. Military, that's our spaceport, and this is a construction ship. All right, so you go here. So Let's survey the whole system. Do it. Oh, yes. Excellent. Wonderful. Do we not need to... I guess we don't need to survey our home planet. Makes sense. Military fleets are used to protect our emerging empire. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Can we turn Veer off, after all? Uh, might want to turn Veer off. Intel level high. Intel level high. Unknown, oh, unknown. Let's go here. We need to build more wormhole stations. Oh, okay. All right. That is... So, how do we... Hmm. I'm a little bit confused as to what to do here. So this is Plutonia. Oh, okay. Have an ability 100. We can terraform, apparently. After... Veer. Veer, please. Uh, do you have a settings, Veer? Faster, slower, paused... Physics research, society research, engineering research. My gosh, there's a lot to do here already. Wormhole stations are built on the outer rim of a system, molding minute tears in space-time into two-way portals to other stars. Ingenious. Oh, okay. All right. Thanks for that. So this is our military power. Let's send it over there. Let's unpause, by the way. want to unpause here. Let's uh, actually pause again. The technology eh. screen is where we will be directing our research efforts. Okay, thanks. My gosh, all right. Feet. I have played a Paradox game before. I thought the middle option would be good. I'll see if I can turn him off uh, later. <laughs> That's going to be... All right, so what do we want? We could get orbital energy conversion, deflectors, planet fortification, physics lab. That seems that seems like the best one to start with. So let's let's grab quantum theory. Let's select a society research. Uh, better understand us and life colony ship. Let's research that immediately. I feel like colonization is very important, and our engineers should be. Oh my! Let's research ion thrusters. That seems right. What does the S mean? I don't know what the S means. That's fine. All right, we've chosen our research. Go forth and do what you do. This is our construction ship, which is used to construct space stations. Ooh. Where an astronomical object, such as a planet, has been surveyed, we can order this ship to build a research. All right, so we can build stuff. Uh, terraforming station, which requires... Oh. Okay. All right. I got you. So, uh, I think there's a way to turn on detailed map mode. That seems good. All right. Uh, he's sur the scientists are surveying Bluton now, so that's cool. Let's let's just. What do you have to offer? 
Nothing. It's barren. Hostile fleet detected. Hostile fleet detected. Alien situation count updated. Oh dear. All right. There's already a hostile fleet. There's a bunch of stuff going on. Interesting. All right. Cool. Did not take long for the to come across intelligent alien life. The fleet's report to the Blutonian capital somewhat understates just how alien these forces appear, and only in passing mentions the failure. And only in passing mentions the failure to open comms. Okay, had a hard time. An unidentified object has been detected on a direct course towards the Abatelis system, which is where there that way. All right. Okay, thank you. I appreciate your, uh, stuff. You're surveying the asteroids now, so that's good. Class M star. Most common stars in the galaxy. It's a barren world, I know that. You, so how do I, how do I do this? Let's, let's, let's learn together, shall we? My goodness. Everything's such a big scale, it's hard to, like... Can we... Oh, I can! Oh! Oh my! Wormhole! Oh my gosh! Could we... How long does it take? I guess... Oh. Could we go? We have found an anomaly. An anomaly? Science ships will discover strange things while surveying worlds. These can be researched by scientists, but the certain their skills are up to the task. Okay. Uh, yeah, research. Research it now. Do it. Let's... Oh! Where'd he go? I guess he went over there. Yep, here I am. Alright, let's just... Frozen world lies within it lies within our space so that's good oh okay all right i i'm getting i'm getting you let's just hold on hmm let's go back to bluton for now can we we can go back right that's a thing that can happen yeah all right excellent Okay. Let's go. Oh, game saving. Go back to Bluton. Alright, and then three, we can queue you. You are researching? Do I have, like, a queue for what you're doing? Interesting. Thank you. All the GUI is really, really small. Wonder if there's a way I can fix that for the next episode. Not sure. All right. Secrets at the doorstep. We found a natural formation on st Stulik. Stujk. Stunning in its geometrical perfection. This is surely a divine sign marking our way out toward the stars. We should continue to investigate these sorts of anomalies whenever we get the chance. It will most assuredly grant us new knowledge and technology. Praise be the divine. Okay, apparently that's an option that is mine because... Alright, so you're a barren world. Man, we're lots of barren worlds around here. I don't know how I feel about that. What do you got? You got some mining resources. So let's take our constructor ship. Let's go over here and let's build a mining station. Do it. Do it the now. The spaceport tab is where we view orbiting fleets. Build new ships. Awesome. The station itself. Okay, so if our resources are up here. We can order the construction of one. Right. We have the necessary Thanks. Route. Thanks, Fear. I appreciate you. Alright. Situation log. log. Displays a list of all currently available special projects and various other points of interest. New items will likely appear as we begin exploring the galaxy. Where are these guys? Alpha aliens? The victory, victory huh? Certain conditions that we can strive to fulfill. To ensure that the legacy amount. Thank you. Thank you, Veer. Veer is very helpful. Very, very helpful. Alright, so we're researching stuff, we're doing things, All there's the situation. Within our empire are designed here. 
New oh. And components will be unlocked as we research new technology. Oh, how cool! So I can design ships and stuff. This game is just the unbelievable. The planets of our empire, empire and the different factions. Different factions. Different factions. Thank you. I appreciate you. All right. So we've got a governor of Blutonia. We have eight Blutonians on Blutonia. All right. So that's our empire. The Here's government our government. Us with information regarding our empire. Thanks. Thanks, Veer. The budget oh my gosh, Veer. You're going to be a problem. All right. We're going to be turning Veer off for episode two. Uh, let's see. Speaking of episode two, I do want to... Let's see. Are you building? Building, mining station, 64%. Okay, beta aliens. Interesting, thank you. Alright, can I build, like, a new, another science vessel? Because I feel like that's going to be important. Uh, empty module slot. Build. Buildable ships. Okay, Corvette, science ship. So, let's go... Where was that? Contact, ship designer... That construction ship, science ship. Let's look at you. You've got a wormhole modulator, science lab, chemical thrusters, and ship mounted radar systems. Okay, we fully surveyed the system. Excellent. And the mining station completed. Excellent. All right, so I'll tell you what, guys. Uh, that's going to be it for episode one of this series. Uh, off camera, I am going to figure out if I can make the GUI a little bit bigger, for one thing. I'm going to turn off Veer, because Veer is going to be a problem, I can already tell. Um, we're going to... Yeah, I, th I, think that's, I think that's what we're going to do off-camera, and uh, then we will be back tomorrow with more... Uh... What is this game called again? Steralis, that's right. Alright, so... If you've enjoyed this episode, please leave a like and a comment down below. It really does help me out. If you really loved it and you want more content every day, hit the subscribe button so I show up in your feed. Um, yeah, that's it. This is Mizuna, signing off.